All right guys, welcome to day 18 and I'm really excited about today because we are going to be learning a lot of cool stuff and this stuff actually took me some time to figure out. Uh, you'll understand why in a little bit. But let's get started with a recap what we did in the last video. In the last video, we watched just some maintenance video. We fixed up some stuff. We improved the logic of the pause functionality and that was pretty much it. So let's now understand what we are going to be doing in this video. So in this video, we are going to be displaying the total length of the video somewhere over here. Not the video, total length of the music that's playing somewhere over here and then uh, we are also going to be displaying the file name instead of let's make some noise i know this is a pretty good uh, tagline let's make some noise but when you play the music this is going to be changed into the file name of uh, the music that's currently being played that is how i am planning to design it if you want to design it some other way feel free to, to do so like i'm not going to restrict you to anything but if you want to follow along just follow along uh, and if you want to just make one more label be below it, that's also fine with me. So let's get started. What we are going to do is uh, first we are going to go to play underscore music function. Let's open this up. Now what I want to do is whenever a music is being played, I want to call a function that will uh, show the details such as uh, the file name and uh, the length of the current music. So I just want to call a function when a music is being played. So below, just below over here, I'm just going to call a function which says show details and we haven't created this function yet. So I'm going to go up somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, this sounds pretty good. And I'm going to write show underscore details over here. And yeah, so we have started, we have created a function. Looks like a pretty good start, even though we haven't done anything. So now we are going to, the first thing we are going to do is very, very simple. We are just going to change this. Let's make some noise to actually the file name of the music that's being played. And we can just for that, we can just copy this from over here, paste this over here. And uh, instead of playing music, let's just write uh, playing. And uh, we have forgot to close this from here instead of status bar we want this text to be uh, displayed over in this label and let's actually change this uh, this text to let's say file text all right or maybe instead of file text let's just call it file uh, label all right let's change this to file label too all right i'm just changing these text because we are going to be creating more of these labels so that i, I don't want any confusions between these texts all right so it changes the details uh, status bar instead of status bar I want it to be file label so let's copy and paste this over here and now let's see whether it's working or not so I'm just gonna go to main.py file run this main.py file go to file open up uh, let's choose journey.wave click on play and yeah it says sorry you probably can't hear me when I'm playing the music it says playing journey.wave so the first step of our uh, file information is done. Now the second step and that is the more uh, difficult step is basically displaying the current length of the music uh, displayed over here. So for wave files it's pretty simply you load the sound file using the dot sound uh, function inside uh, Kinter inside sorry not inside Kinter inside the mixer class of Pygame but what happens with mp3 files is that the music file is so big uh, that it's not supported inside mixer of Pygame. So you have to use another package called Mutagen. But we'll get into that. Let's first uh, handle this .wav files and just let's set everything up before we go and handle mp3 files. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna just create another file label. Not file label, we are gonna call it maybe uh, length label. Let's call it length label and we're also gonna call it uh, let's pack it up. So we're gonna call it length label dot pack and instead of let's make some noise We are gonna put in some text. which says uh, total total length Total length and then we want it to be displayed in the format of zero zero and zero zero and instead of maybe Let's put this as dash Just small things nothing too complex all right, and uh, before displaying this length under length label, let's actually calculate 
the length of the music that we are playing uh, inside a background music player the first thing we are going to do is uh, just declare a variable let's call it a and then inside it we are gonna load the music actually to load the music it's not that difficult we are just gonna write music dot uh, sound and then inside this sound we are just gonna write uh, the file name that we want to load so I'm just gonna write file name over here so we have loaded the sound and let's load this sound and store it inside a variable so we can use that variable to get the length so we're gonna store this uh, sound inside this variable of a and then to get the length of it we are just gonna create a variable let's call it total length length we are gonna store the length of the sound so for that we can just write a dot get length and this will store the length actually let me just write underscore in between so that we can read its total length so now this total length is actually the number of seconds this uh, file is off so if it's uh, of maybe the music is of 60 seconds or maybe 1 minute and 10 seconds then this total length actually contains 70 value so let's actually print this out in our console and see what it gives us so let's print out total underscore length and we're going to go to run.main.py file and let me just close all the previous files because i won't i don't want them let's terminate all of them and then let's run this main.py file again and we'll so you can see it says total length dash 0000 over here which is working pretty good for us then we'll go to file click on open and let's file journey.wav click on play <laughs> Actually, you must not be able to hear me because I was just uh, speaking a lot of stuff. So as you can see, this uh, I was speaking while the music was playing in the background. Stupid me. But anyways, what I was saying that over here, what you are seeing is the exact value of uh, exact length of the track that we just played. And that is 66 seconds dot point point five four. So about if we approximate it, it's about 67 seconds. And that is one minute and seven seconds. So now we have the value. But we want to kind of print it in this kind of format, right? Because uh, it's not in this 0000 format. So for that, we first need to get minutes and then seconds. All right, so how do we get minutes and seconds? That is pretty simple. We just write mins, sex, and this is like uh, the variable names, sex. All right, <laughs> so these are the variable names. You can just write the minutes or seconds in terms of like the full spelling. They are just variable names. You can even just write M over here if you want to. But just for the sake of understanding, I'm writing them as mints and sex. And then uh, we are going to use something known as div mod. And it requires two values, a comma b. If you have seen, it says parameter a and parameter b. So it requires two values. First value is going to be total length, then comma. It requires uh, the thing that we divide it with. We are going to write in 60. So what is happening over here? So let's understand that. So what this div mod does is it divides the total length by 60 and it stores the quotient inside this mins variable and it stores the remainder inside this sex variable that is the seconds variable. So I'm just going to add a comment over here so that you guys remember what it is doing. So what div is doing in this function is uh, total length underscore L E N D H and it's dividing it by 60 and what uh, this mod is doing is is taking the total length total underscore length and it's calculating the remainder when it's divided by 60 that is the percentage symbol so if you have done any programming you probably know what this percentage stands for it basically stands for uh, the mod symbol and whenever we want to find some kind of remainder we use this mod symbol when we are dividing two elements so in this case which is total length and 60 I don't know if you guys are able to hear it but a lot of construction stuff is going on in the background and I'm hoping that uh, because my this Samsung Go mic that I have has this option of uh, minus 10 dB uh, so it doesn't take uh, into account a lot of noise that's generated in the background so I'm hoping that there's no noise in this audio because if there is I'll have to redo this audio again and it's a lot of work. But anyways, uh, let's go forward. So we have understood what this div mod is done doing, what this div mod is doing, and is dividing the total length by 60 and storing it in this mince variable. And then it's calculating the remainder when total length is divided into by 60 and it's storing it in sex variable. So when, for example, let's say 67 is divided uh, 
by let's say 60 it stores uh, it stores one inside this mins variable and when it's divided by 60 and the remainder is 7 and stored inside this sex variable obviously because it's in decimals is it isn't going to be exactly uh, one or uh, is this this sex variable isn't going to be exactly seven and uh, let's actually print this mins and uh, sex out to see what kind of values are being stored inside these variables so let's print them out let's remove the total length from here let's reload this and we'll go back to file click on open click on uh, journey.wav right now we are not using mp3 files and if you are going to use the mp3 file it's going to throw you an error we are going to be handling these mp3 files in a little bit of time but for right now let's focus on .wav files because uh, we want a music player to be able to execute both the mp3 files and the .wav files so let's click on this .wav file click on play and you can see it gives us the value of one one minute and then it gives us the value of 6.54 uh, and then uh, it goes on for a lot of time uh, seconds all right so what i want to do is basically round both of these numbers so if 1.0 is rounded off it gives us one and when this this whole uh, 6.54 blah 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 is rounded off it will give us the value of seven because uh, if you know how rounding works if the last value is five or above five it rounds it off to uh, seven and if it is less than five then it rounds it off to just six so we're just gonna write uh, maybe round just to show you how it works i'm just gonna write round and put in one more thing over here and again we're gonna round round and put one more bracket over here and now let's reload it load our journey.file uh, journey.wave file again click on play and now you can see it says one minute and seven seconds so now we know that our total length and uh, minutes and seconds are properly working. Now it's only the manner uh, in which we are going to display is going to matter because we want it to be displayed in 00, zero dot dot zero zero kind of manner. So that is uh, a little bit uh, which is known as formatting. We have to format it properly. So we are just going to remove all of these print statements from here. Then we are just going to write mints again and uh, basically round this uh, minutes that we have. I don't know why I'm copying and pasting it because it's pretty simple and then we are going to do the same thing basically rewrite the variable with the round of uh, number so that we have the round of uh, value of these minutes and seconds and not the decimal values of these minutes and seconds so now it's pretty simple what we have to do we have to kind of format this minutes and seconds properly so as to display them in a time format kind of manner which is 00 and 00 kind of format uh, actually I want to change this so I'm just gonna write uh, instead of uh, maybe zero zero I'll just write go for this dash dash this looks a little bit better and the second thing I want to do is remove the maybe panning from here because there's just too much space being displayed and let's go back <laughs> yeah let's go back to our main thing we have to put in the time format so I'm just going to declare a variable called time format and inside this we are gonna put in a semicolon and then this is how we format our time. All right, so we're just gonna write in these brackets, then close the brackets, and inside these brackets, we put in a colon, then uh, two, and then D, and then put a colon again. Let me just write it down, and then I'll explain it to you what's actually happening behind the scenes, and put this, and then just write dot format, and this is going to take in minutes, and uh, then seconds, and that's pretty much it let's just print out this time format on our time console now and let's go on uh, let's go on play uh, so now you can see it's a, it looks a little bit more decent instead of just being uh, like a way below it because i've just removed the pad y from this total length anyways let's go to open go to journey.wave play stop and now you can see it displays it in a manner of uh, one and two. So I have to actually add a zero over here. So I'm just going to add a zero over here and a zero over here. Let's reload it again. File open. Go to journey.wave. Play. And now you can see it. And now you can see it displays it in a proper kind of format 0107, which we want. So what over here is happening is that we are saying, hey, display this. Uh, display first zero if there is no zero uh, let me just uh, 
explain it to you with this example. So this this middle semicolon is this middle semicolon, middle semicolon, not semicolon. It's a colon. Why am I saying semicolon, semicolon again? It's a colon. So this colon over here is a colon over here, and then this left hand side of zero one is actually being implemented by this uh, bracket curly bracket, and then which says zero two d. D stands for decimal or integer. And this 0 2 stands for that it's of two digits. And if you don't put in the zero, it will only show you one digit. And then uh, basically it says minutes show it in uh, these curly brackets. And the seconds, the second argument show it in these curly brackets. So the last thing we need to do is actually just change this uh, length label over here. So I'm just going to copy this thing from here and maybe paste it over here. And instead of uh, this, we're just going to write total length. And uh, we're just going to write uh, instead of this, we are going to put in the time format. And yeah, that this should look good enough. So let's reload it and see if it's actually working or not. So I'm going to go to play, open up the file, journey.wave. All right, so it's not working because we have uh, changed file label instead of length label. So I have to forgot to change this thing over here. But as you can see, it's working at least the let's reload it. I'll show it to you again, even though we are wasting time. File open uh, journey dot wave. I'm making a lot of mistakes in this video, huh? I'm like messing up a lot of times. I don't know. So, so now you can see it says total length is one minute and seven seconds. So this is only going to work for .wav files and not for mp3 files. All right. So let's recap what we did in this video. So we created this. Uh, we are calling the show details function when the play button is pressed and is going to go to the show details function. And we created this. Uh, we changed the name of this file label and then we created a new label for displaying the total length. And when this show details function is called, first is going to change the file label to the name of the file that is being played. Uh, all right, the music is stopped because a lot of times the music is playing in the background and I forget to stop it. And while I'm explaining, all the music is being like played in the background. So that messes it up. But anyways, yeah, the music is stopped. So we are displaying the file name and then we, because this is a WAV file, the WAV file, we can load this file using the sound function of mixer. And then we can get the total length by writing a dot get length function. And now this is the total length in seconds. We need to get it uh, in minutes and then seconds. So we divide it by 60 and we find the remainder when we divide it by 60 and we store it in minutes and seconds variable by using this diff mod function. And then we round off the minutes and the seconds. And after that, we format it properly using these curly braces of 02D, 02D. And this mince is the left hand side, the sex is the right hand side. And then we change the length label uh, so as to show as the total length of the music being played. This video has already been pretty long. So we are going to learn how to handle the MP3 files um, tomorrow, that is on day 19. I think it is day 19, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.